Hello, Smokey. Hello, Smokey. This is Smokey. Smokey just had her breakfast. Yeah. So she is just a little active still. She's not active very often. She's actually trying to find a place to snuggle. You like down here better. It's warmer. Here. Can you say hi for her? So, hi. Hi. No. She's like, I don't want to. Um, her name is Smokey, but she is a girl. To me, Smokey sounds like a boy name, but whatever. Um, her owners named her. She does have owners. Um, it is the people that found her. However, they couldn't, they had never bottle fed or anything like that before. Um, so we had found her a foster. Uh, but about two days in, because I really think she was found the day she was born, and she was either premature or the runt because she was less than, I think she was 65 grams, which we want newborns to start at 80. Yeah, but that's okay. Um, and about two days in, no, no, I know. I may have to shut her thing. Um, she started having diarrhea and would not latch. Um, and... Sometimes the diary would have a little tiny bit of blood in it. So I had her brought here, started her on antibiotics. We did have her tested for panleukopenia. Um, that was what I was worried about with the blood. But she did not. We, she's been tested twice uh, for that and was tested clear. So um, she's just been on antibiotics, I will say. She has perfect poop. Um, you can tell she just went potty because her tail is wet still from the wipes yeah did we potty we did we pottied um she is going back probably tomorrow to a reg her regular foster who will raise her until it is time for the owner to pick her up because she has done so well i have filmed clips of her here and there i think i've filmed one of her baths um I, had, I know I've filmed her sleeping several times because she's so cute. Uh, so this will probably be a compilation video of all that because I didn't film her at the very, very beginning because if she had had Pan Luke, Pan Luke is, ooh, it's a beast. And I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know. But she survived and she is thriving. She is a whopping 130 grams now. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but from 65 to 130, that's a that's just amazing. Yeah. So I just wanted to document her because she did come a long way. It was rough. Um, today the only reason she wouldn't go today is because yesterday, well, yesterday evening was the first time she took a bottle on her own. She has been tube feeding. Um until yesterday afternoon so she is still a little bit um not great when it comes to the bottle and i want to make sure she is perfectly latching um before she leaves but she's doing great like she's still gaining weight she is latching she just you know when you're too fed for a week of your you know 12 10 day life <laughs> you don't know the bottle very well no. Um, so, okay. Well, I think this is distur Ooh, this is disturbing her. And she wants to find a place to snuggle down. Um, so, I'm going to leave her alone. But, yeah, say hi and probably bye to Smokey. Unless I have time later to film her.
Smokey, say hi. Say hi. Smokey is about to get what I call a clean bath. <laughs> I know that makes no sense. But look, first I want you to see. Can you see her eyes? Her eyes are opening. Woohoo! They started opening yesterday. Um, but what I mean by clean bath is almost all the baths that I that you see. That may be too much film. Um we I'm bathing them because they're like either have horrible leaves or they have diarrhea or you know it's something that's like really nasty um and i use running water well this little love bug is gross because she um kind of pooped on her back end and uh she's like kind of scoot through it plus um she just has learned She's been tube fed her whole life, and she's just learned bottle feeding, um, and that has made, like, her neck and stuff, even though I wipe it, it just still seems like she gets on her neck. So, she's not, like, gross dirty, but she's also not comfortably clean, and sometimes when, um, they have poop on their bottom that can't, that's, like, dried or whatever, it kind of hurts them, like, it pulls see like she has some right there that just kind of mats their legs together and that hurts for them to move or I don't know if it hurts but it's uncomfortable but I don't have to have like running water because it's not like really really you know something um that's gonna hurt her so what I do is I get a bowl and I put some Dawn dish soap in it. Oh, she's pottying. Okay, well, we're done with, uh, she's about to potty in the bowl, but I'm not gonna put her back in the bowl, so that's okay. Um, but this way I'm not like, cause I do hate running the water, but see, you can tell it's dirty, but, done with that and then off to the side I have warm water in a pitcher that I can just rinse her off with after her bath I know she's just like lady she did just eat though so she is all nice and full this is nice warm water and there that's it that's all we're gonna do and then she's clean, but we didn't use 800 gallons of water. And there you go. And I'm going to dry her off and put her back in the incubator.